Today I'm going to show you how to tie the silver midge pupa. I'm starting with a size 16 curved nymph hook and some 8 aught gray thread. And I've got a little metallic bead. And so in front of the bead I'm just going to tie in a little bit of antron. like that and try not to tie it too much because then the bead won't fit so just do a few quick wraps and then a whip finish and if you want you can trim the antron before the whip finish if you don't want to deal with all this but I like to do it after the bead just to make sure it's the right size so just make sure that's clear and then finish And now you can pull the bead up and clip the anchor on if you haven't already. And then I'm going to take a 6 aught thread now, still gray, and then just wind it down. And I'm just going to bring it down the curve of the hook just to about there then now I'm gonna grab a silver wire and tie that up and I like to keep it straight on the back It's not super important, but it's just what I like to do. So I'll just try to keep it straight the best I can. Just like that. And just bring it right up here. It's okay if it doesn't make it all the way to the head. You just want to make sure you get the whole body gray with the thread and then now just wrap the wire with even segments And there we go. You don't have to bring that all the way up to the head either, just because we're going to add some dubbing. Just helicopter that off. And try to be careful so it doesn't break off right there. Otherwise, you have to deal with this. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to grab some ice dubbing. It's a mayfly color, which is basically a light silver with purple and blue. It'll just look really good on this fly. And just a little bit of that. And I like to concentrate it into one area just to give it a nice large wad of dubbing right there right behind the head and then whip finish you can add a little bit of glue or whatever if you don't want it to if you don't want the thread to unwrap but it should be fine then now just pull these fibers and get any stragglers and there it is, a very simple and very effective midge pupa pattern.